please subscribe. Hello everyone and welcome back to another week of drawing with me, the man in the hat. Oh, I better put that back on. It's better with the hat on. Welcome back. We are going to be drawing another type of dwelling today. And this one is from a very cold part of the world. You really only find these where it would snow and there's lots of ice. Can you guess what it is? Hmm. An igloo. We're going to be drawing an igloo today. If you don't know what an igloo is, you're going to find out pretty soon. It's like a little sort of house made out of ice blocks. Sort of big ice blocks though. Not little ones you find in your fridge. So, we're going to be drawing one of those today. And that doesn't require a lot of colour because we're dealing with something that's sort of white. You might put a little bit of grey into it, something like that, but you'll need something to colour in the sky. Um, apart from that, what do you need? You need some paper to draw on. Again, your choice in the size, it doesn't matter how big it is. And you'll be needing a grey lead and possibly a marker to go over the grey lead once you're done. Then you're colouring in stuff. Like I said, there won't be a lot of colour today. Unless you're adding some different things into the background which require a lot of colour. Uh, but I'm going to do a nice blue sky in mine. And uh, the rest of it's going to be fairly white, maybe with a little bit of grey mixed into it. Having said that, Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, let's go and get creative. Okay everyone, now that you've got your paper organised, whatever size it is, as I've said in the past, doesn't matter if it's small or big, I'm just using an A4 piece of paper for this activity, but you can use whatever you like. I'm going with the grey lead first up, as if I make any mistakes I want to be able to rub them out, and then I'll go over this with Sharpie. As I said, we're drawing an igloo today, and um, another type of dwelling. We've been on the dwelling theme a little bit, so um, this one's going to be an igloo this time around. Uh, if you've never seen an igloo, you're about to find out what it is. It's a little, almost little hut or little um, place you can stay out of the ice and snow and cold in very cold areas, such as the Arctic Circle, or perhaps um, maybe even places like Alaska. So, how do we do it? Let's get started. We're going to make the igloo is the star of the show. So this is going to be the biggest thing on the page. And again, not a lot of colour because we're going to be doing something that's white. Um, I'm going to be colouring in the sky and, and maybe little patches of snow here and there, a bit of grey in some of that, a blue-grey colour perhaps. But apart from that, not uh, much colouring at all. So, let's get started. I'm going to start around about sort of here and have an equal sort of distance for my igloo each side of the page. The top of it's going to go to about oh, maybe there somewhere. So if you want, you can put a little dot there. Um, or there, so sort of centre of the page type thing. And then put a dot here and a dot about the same distance apart over on this side and at about the same level. So what you end up with, you, know, you can sketch this if you like or you can try and draw it straight up. Probably best to try and sort of sketch it in. That's the middle of the igloo, the top of it, and then you want to come down over this side here. Now it's not an easy sort of shape to sketch out so I'm going to have a few lines until I'm happy with the sort of shape I'm going now I'm doing this really lightly because I want to be able to rub this out you can see I've got lots of lines there and that's okay for this activity because I've done them nice and light I'll be able to rub them out when I need to so you can see that there that's the sort of shape you want, something like that. Um, and then we're going to join the bottom of this igloo around like that with a curve again. So it's not a straight line across, it's going to be a curve that comes down like this and back up there. Something like that. 
if you find that's about the right sort of height I think maybe a little bit lower somewhere there anyway that's the sort of thing we want to have for our igloo and as I said you see all these extra lines I'm going to get rid of those so don't worry about that as long as you're doing it lightly you'll be able to rub them out so next step what we want to do over here sort of near where this these lines join together this line coming down and this line here we're going to draw another sort of arc type shape and it is going to start around about here so just uh, so you've got a little bit of this igloo line still here so you're going to start it around there and that's going to come up and go around like this you know, look, if yours are a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller it doesn't really matter too much so you want to sort of have this sort of shape here going on something like that um, and this line here actually comes down a little bit further than this line over here so you can see they're not on the same level one's a little bit higher, one's a little bit lower so this is the sort of shape we want here for the entrance of the igloo. Now, next step here is to actually um, draw another uh, U-shape. Let's call it a U-shape. And what we're going to do there is, again, that one's going to be a tad lower than this one, just a little bit, but you want to keep it the same distance away from the outside one all the way around and this one stops a little bit shorter than this side okay so we end up with some sort of shape like that for our igloo entrance and then what we're going to do there is just join those um, and this is like it could be a curve but you're really not going to see a curve there um, and then that sort of thing something similar to that if you can get that happening that would be awesome something like that okay so this acts as the entrance in we'll get rid of these lines here as we, we don't need those lines here anymore or the ones that you'll see going through the U-shape there next what we want to do we're going to draw a line coming off the side of this at the top a bit so not right in the middle but just off to the side there we're going to draw a little short line like that and then draw a curve that comes down and touches over here somewhere Okay, what I would actually like to do first though is I'm going to, before I do that curve I'm going to draw a line coming back here so I know where it needs to touch and this the angle of this line here needs to be parallel to that one so we want it to be going in the same sort of angle as that line there so but we finish it up here we're touching there um, that will give us the uh, curve that we need there so let's do that bring that around and down like this something like that okay yeah. anyway that's the sort of look I'm going for there with my igloo now in here we need to draw another line and that's going to come back and touch this edge here so I need to sort of make sure that I know what line I'm using here because I've got so many lines I'm going to go back and touch this line here again the angle of this needs to be the same as this one okay so something similar to that and that gives us our little entrance to this igloo again you can use a rubber to rub things out, sorry, 
just get my pencil sharpener and things out of the way. I should have been a bit more prepared here. I'm struggling to get my rubber. There we go. Um, so, as I said, if you're not rubbing, uh, drawing too hard, you'll be able to rub things out and do them as you please without having lots of terrible lines still left there when we're finished because we don't want it to be looking messy. So, next, what I'd like to do is want that to be curving quite nicely there. I think that's yeah, something like that would probably be a little better. Because I'll, I'll fix this up when I go over it with Sharpie. So that's the igloo look there. I don't want too much of a point on that edge there. I want that to sort of be rounded. So that there is our entrance. Um, if I wanted to right now, what I could do is rub out these lines that I don't need. And it's probably a good idea to do it because I don't want to um, be left with these lines here and go over them when I do Sharpie and get confused and actually leave them there and uh, so that, that line now will actually go uh, right back up in here so and sort of disappear over to this side so what we want to do there is extend it to make it look like it's going inside the igloo itself okay so that's the sort of what we're after um, and you might have to play around with that a little bit to get it to look right but as I said if you do it nice and lightly you'll be okay next what are we going to do we're going to do the lines now that curve around and go all the way around this igloo so what we're doing there very simply is and we want we want these to be the same distance apart so you could start here um, how many rows are we going to do we're going to do one two three four maybe about five rows which means we're going to do four lines so if you sort of space this out we need to do these curves coming around like this following this same sort of curve and then over here as well you can imagine that goes through here and curves around that way so it'll be something like that and then we do a whole bunch of those going up to the very top and um, as I said we want them to be sort of around about the same thickness because we're going to cut these up into ice blocks so this is the sort of thickness I'm looking at that thickness there so we want to have the same sort of close to anyway the same sort of thickness and remember it's a curve you some nice big curves here and sketching lightly you'll be able to get the right curve that you want that should continue on through here a little bit of a curve going that way yeah um, and again here so try and keep them about the same width apart hopefully it's all going to be the same width apart now this one we don't have to worry because it's missing the top of the entrance so this one just continues around like that something like that you just get, keep having a sketch to try and get the right sort of curve and uh, next we want to do another one uh, we might end up doing a couple more actually I think so that's okay to do more blocks in this glue it's fine another one there so you just sort of keep going at the same sort of distance apart till you get to the very top um, and then at the top we leave uh, 
just enough space to put the lid, basically the lid on. So when you're building an igloo, which will probably be this one here, you leave the top till last, you start from the bottom and work your way up when it's being built. Um, so something like that would be good. If you wanted to, you could probably get one more in there. Let's just do it and we'll have one more for the very top part there. Okay, just want it to look like a beehive. <laughs> okay, now what we want to do here is divide this up into the blocks I was talking about, like ice blocks, like giant ice blocks that Inuit people would use, or people that live in these really cold areas. So, indigenous people of these locations. So, next, as I said, we divide this up into big blocks. Now, how you do that is sort of up to you. You can make these really big or small, but we don't want to make them look square. We sort of want to make them look like they are rectangular in shape and they have a little bit of a curve in these lines too. Now the lines sort of curve this way a little bit, similar to this angle, but when we get over to this sort of side or in the middle they're quite straight and then they curve back over this way to match this curve in the end over here. So let's start, um, maybe right at the top, we're just going to do one line there and that's going to indicate that there's two sort of big ice blocks to make the cap on the top of this igloo. Now what we do next, let's start this. So we're going to have these sort of curving a little bit, not heaps, not too too much. We don't want it to be sort of, you know, too much of a curve because it'll, it won't look realistic. So a bit of a curve like that. Um, that one may be a little bit bigger, don't worry too much, you know, it's not a huge big deal. But again, if you want to, rub them out, have another go, as we can. So I'll rub that out a lot better when I'm using my Sharpie 2 and sort of 3 there. That's okay, something like that's fine. I'll fix that up a bit later. Uh, and then the next row, you don't want the lines for the bricks to be touching one another from top to, from this row to the next row. You want them to be staggered. So what you would do here is do something like this. Start over here, have a bit of a curve line there, and another one here, another one here, and another one here. Something like that. Okay, and then obviously if you start getting over here you will have a bit of a join between here. So this one, this angle is going to sort of go that way, curving back that way a bit. And that's quite important because it's going to give us that dome look. So next again, what you do, we're going to have uh, a line here, there, another one there. Another one there, here, that one will be quite straightish, and, and then they start to turn, so from there, uh, they start turning back the other way. You might have something like that. Okay, so this is the important part to try and get that, get that curved dome appearance, and that this, these blocks are all staggered, these big ice blocks. So here we go again, another one here, and it sort of repeats itself again here. This row here will be up here now. There, another one here, another one here, slight curve, and then by the time I get over here, they are now quite straight, and then they start turning back the other way. 
Okay, so something similar to that when you're doing yours. And then just work your way back up again. You curve, curve, and we start to straighten up. Then we start to curve the other way a bit. Yeah, something like that. Okay, to build our igloo. And again, from here, we go there, there, and uh, I'm just going to turn the volume down on my computer so we're not hearing anything. And here we go here, curving back the other sort of way now. Now these will get a little bit tighter and smaller as we go up. Um, so again, here, there, well, that one's, you can't see the end of that one, here, here, here and then in there somewhere okay so igloo that's our igloo look now what we need to do is finish off the entrance here now the entrance we need to play around a little bit to make it look like it's made of blocks as well so what I'm going to do there is first I'm going to go around this edge this U shape here and I'm going to put in some lines there and they will give us the basis for our other lines that we need to put into this so I'm going to do um, oh, they sort of on actually the angle of these needs to be different the angle needs to follow these sorts of lines here the, this line that's on the bottom we're sort of going to follow that one first like around about there and then they actually start to turn so by the time we get up here they are quite uh, different they're not following that angle they're like turning and then this one comes back this way something like that and then here again somewhere there there if you, again don't press too hard so you can play around with it um, and get the sorts of sizes of the blocks consistent if you can get them fairly consistent that would be good anyway something like that that'll give us the um, spots that we need to start for our lines on the outside and the inside of this so what we do here following this angle again we start doing this sort of thing okay and they're sort of gonna go a little bit straighter as we go now this one here is quite close to there so we need to sort of be careful with that because we've got a line right there too so when I do my sharpie work I need to be careful I don't blend those together now the other side you don't see of course but um, what we're going to do inside here are some more lines and uh, they again will go back this way following this angle go like this and here and you might just see the top of that one a little bit probably wouldn't even see that one actually uh, so I'm going to take that one out that one you probably wouldn't see so again we're turning these into sort of block shapes so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to maybe split that there and then do uh, another one just here I think and one there maybe so this is actually these need to be a little bit curved too what am I doing so a little bit curved we want those a little bit curved not much just a little uh, another one there one here and one there that sort of look and inside with the same sort of thing going on these will go pretty much vertical like that maybe one there one there one there one there now we will 
these could have a bit of curve on them too to be honest just a bit of a curve not a lot just a really subtle curve and then one last one here that there looks like an igloo um, you can simplify that a bit you don't have to have as many of uh, ice blocks as I do or ice bricks last thing we need to do is give this a horizon line and now the horizon line I'm going to make quite high it's going to go around about here somewhere so that'll be my horizon and then imagine that comes through the igloo out to the other side you can measure that to see how much room you've got there or the distance that is there imagining that's coming through and we're going off over here somewhere for the other side of the horizon that's my horizon line and then you could add some clouds up the top here if you wanted to or it could just be a beautiful blue sky but if you wanted to you could add a couple of clouds and maybe the sun something like that um, and then for the snow down the bottom in this area if you wanted to you don't have to do this but you could have you know a couple little things like that where it looks like there's some imperfections in the snow that sort of thing you know snow's built up here and there you could even have uh, some snow drift which would be where the winds blown and it's snowed and bits of it are building up maybe on the side of the, or the back here of the um, igloo if the wind was blowing from this direction it would be sort of building up you know, there would be some snow sort of building up there at the back if the wind came from that way um, be a little bit of snow here and there building up so that's an igloo I hope you enjoy doing it I'm going to speed things up now and I'm going to go over this with a sharpie then add some color like I said not a lot of color because it is in a snowy and icy environment which is mostly white a bit of blue sky maybe some clouds and things up here and then uh, that'll be about it and um, you could even have maybe the the sun sort of peeking out over there something like that and uh, that's about all I'm going to do not a lot else okay I hope you enjoyed this activity and I will see you again next time bye for now Point out. <laughs>